What's up YouTube? This video is about uh, a DIY crab trap. I'm going to show you guys how I went ahead and made my uh, my homemade crab trap. And uh, in this video I'll give you a description of all the things you need and so off, so forth. Uh, this video was inspired by several different YouTubers who have made an attempt to uh, make a crab trap. So without further ado, let's get started. Some of the things you will need, uh, just a couple of tools. Uh, of course, you're going to need two milk crates, but um, you're definitely going to need a drill, a couple of drill bits, a jigsaw, some wire cutters, uh, strong zip ties, two types, uh, nylon rope, two types, uh, three ounce barrel weights, four of those, and stainless steel carabiners. So first off, what I did is I drilled um, a couple of holes down the side of the crate, which will be my hinges. Um, it's up to you how many you want to drill. Um, I think I drilled about six. Um, but before that, of course, you know, you have to cut out a section of crate for the door. Make sure you leave the lip on, though, and I'll explain why. In this shot, you can clearly see that... The, I accidentally cut off the lip of the uh, lid when I cut it off. The lip meaning that little ridge that hangs over the edge. If you, when you make your crate, when you cut that lip off, what will happen is when you get ready to lift your door, it will, there's a possibility that the door will fold inward inside the crate. And I would prefer my door fold outward outside the crate. So to avoid that, when you cut your lid, make sure you leave the lid on. In this next shot, you'll see how I attached the crates together. I did a zigzag pattern or a crisscross pattern in the middle. Um, you can put more zip, tie, zip ties if you want. I put uh, two on the outer end or closer towards the edge, and I did that on all four sides. Another YouTuber who made a similar crab trap to this suggested that pyramid weights be zip tied to the outside of the door to ensure that when the trap hits the ocean floor, the doors come open. I decided that if the pyramid weights happen to land like it is in this shot, it will prop the door open a few inches, which may not matter to you guys. I just wanted my door to lay flat. So what I decided to do is go ahead and use these barrel weights. Um, it's still three ounces. Um, I used two on each door and I zip tied them securely or a little bit more securely to the doors themselves. Now, it does still hold the door open, but just about a half an inch or so. You can see how I zip tied them uh, to the door. I did the same thing to the other door on the other side. All right, so that's a door right there. You come around to the other side, that's a door right there. You put your bait inside there, which will be chicken. You zip tie it down to the center. Then you have these strings, which are connected to the doors, so that when you pull it up, you can just lift it up. When you drop it, the door is closed. Lift it up, get closed. The crabs will be trapped inside. That's how it goes. 